So we're going to show you how to graph y equals 3x plus 5. I forgot to label my axes, but that's good because now I can show you. So we need to label x and y. We draw two straight lines, draw little arrows, and that's the basic setup. Now, sometimes you're a bit confused about what to, you know, what to put in. So we'll make a little table. I find tables very handy of x and y. And we just need a few important points. So if x equals 0, that's a very important point, because when x equals 0, that's here. And it tells you how high we need to go. So if x equals 0, what does y equal? Yep, 5. Because we get 3 times 0, or 0, plus 5. Maybe I'll, I'll write that down for you. Right here, 3 times 0 plus 5, which gives us 5. So we know that it goes 5 up. So I'm just going to call this point 0, 5. That's one way we can label it. Okay? I'll show you another way in a second. So another important point is when y equals 0. I don't know why teachers are always on about this, but these are the two points y equals 0. Um, um, but <laughs> actually, I do know why. Uh, so if y equals 0, we need to solve 0 equals 3x plus 5. Therefore, minus 5 equals 3x. Therefore, x equals minus 5 on 3. So from a quick calculation, that's a bit more than y, minus 1, a bit less than minus 2 in terms of size, because 5 on 3 is more than 3 on 3, and less than 6 on 3, so between 1 and 2. So I guess it's about between 1 and 2, make that minus 1, minus 2. So it'll be about here. Okay? Minus 5 on 3. So we don't need to label these anyway, because the scale, the scale should be understood based on your points. Okay, and any other points we need? Not for a linear equation, but let's just put one in just just to be sure, just to be safe. So let's put x equals one. In fact, I'll put a few more for you. X equals one, and x equals, let's make it minus three. What does y equal? Y equals three times one, three plus five, which equals eight. 3 times 1 plus 5, or minus 3, 3 times minus 3 plus 5 equals minus 9 plus 5 equals minus 4. So we can put that in 1, 8, guessing that'd be here, 1, 8, or minus 3, minus 4. So minus 4 would be around here, and if this is 2, minus 3 would be around here, minus 4. Okay? And the truth is, you don't need to <laughs> you don't need to put all the points in. But if you ever forget, this is very handy, and we can draw a straight line through all those points. Um, and that's what these equations are. Okay. Um, so if you go to the linear section, I'll explain how to do things faster. But I always want you to know, have a good understanding of what you're actually doing. This line isn't a line; it's a it's a whole bunch of dots that you're just connecting. Okay, just like when you, when we were younger um, in primary school. Okay, so I'll move on to something more advanced next. I think we'll be going to domain ranges. So that should be exciting.